We need to make a statement. On the previous episode of... It's your birthday. We're celebrating. Super Team. Prolific prep. People are expecting us to win every game. We just feel like we're not going to lose this season. Pressure's just building. Jalen is putting us on his back. He's going to miss this, and we're going to win the game. They start falling apart. They don't know what to say. West Coast, we're going to end this right now. on our team is out. It will be a hit to us because he knows the game so well. It's your fault. Coleman, are you hurt? I don't want to let anybody tear down. Coleman! We're not going to lose a game this season. Coleman getting injured sucks just because he's a huge part of this team. Stop. 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 Jeez. I found out we took our first L. I was kind of upset. I didn't want to let my team down. I wish I could have been there to help the team out. It sucks. Got a long day ahead. Got physical therapy. I'm just thinking about what I can do best for my team, things like that. Star Wars Episode 3. Padme was fine. And this, this dude, Anakin, freaking went to the dark side and got her killed. Like, bro, she she died, bro. It's all Anakin's fault. He made that whole big thing, took over the Galactic Empire for no reason. Like, come on, bro. No more L's the rest of the season. W's my favorite letter for the rest of the year. What the heck is that? Yeah. She should have never went for Anakin. She should have came for a Jedi like me. You know, I used to be a Jedi. That was a long time ago, though, in a galaxy far, far away, so. Basketball was really like an outlet to going out in life and exploring. Like, I made it out of Sacramento my junior year of high school because of basketball. Like, I live in Napa with the host family, like, not with my real family at all because of basketball. It's just like a whole nother excitement. I don't know, I, don't, I can't even describe it. Let's play some Jack, because I'm bored. Since the first time I walked into the practice with you guys, I knew, like, I, you guys had that swag about you that was just, like, it was untouchable. The fun thing about coaching you guys is I always feel like we're always gonna win. It feels terrible. Guys are crying, guys are upset. You know, reality guys don't understand that we are not gonna go on the this season. What you guys have is will, and I will coach that every single day, is the will to win. We've gotten 21 points with a game that you don't have a shot clock. You know how hard it is to come back on that? This one hurt because we, we were ready for them. Uh, we knew they weren't better than us. And obviously Jalen's performance is second to none. He led us back all the way when it was just a tough game to just score. Jack, you played your ass off, dude. It doesn't show in the stats, but you play your, you play your ass off, Jack, and I'll go to war with you any fucking day. Frank, we're gonna get you better. We're gonna get Saba better. We're gonna get Coleman Hawkins back. We're gonna get Mawat Mag back. But in the meantime, these are the Warriors that we have here. It doesn't stop. Not only did we lose, but my ankle is terrible. I have to be carried out the locker room. My mom says I have to go to the hospital and I have to get it checked out immediately. Are y'all a good team? Yes, we were okay. undefeated before yesterday. The doctor comes back and he gives me bad news. I'm out four to six weeks with a sprained ankle. Over time, he's good. After the hospital, I need to chill out. My family came to see me. Hey, 
So basically, they brought the party to him. Ma, nobody asked you to speak. Nobody asked Nikki B to speak. Hey, blur her Let's out. Be, Let's be clear. That hurt you looking at Demi, oh, baby. Yeah, it did. Dang, Mari. So I was hurting so bad. My ankle turned and rolled completely, and I heard it pop and like pop back into place, though. Yeah, it's it going down. Oh yeah. I swear, cause it's always red, baby. Let's get ripped. It's yes. about the ice and all. Yeah, cause it was, it, cause it's in flames. I can't, you know, play tomorrow, and um, I wish I could be out there with those guys, but you know, it's it's what's best for me and in, in, in the team. I need to tell them to calm it down. I need a tent or a sleeping bag or anything like that. Namari's injury definitely hurts us, especially with his length, his athleticism, and just his leadership. So Jalen will have to take even more of an ownership of that position. This is your team, all right? So I love that leadership. Keep doing that. I had a losses, like, I don't really think about it too much. Like, can't change the past. We just gotta move on to the next game. Usually that's feel, go crazy. Right, everybody be ready at all times. Talk, be loud a bit, all that. Here we just lost, you know, everyone's upset. And then we see Namari on crutches. So that makes it even worse. Hey man, get this done for the team, man. Skip me, man. Don't do it for me, do it for Let's go. Do it for the film. This is probably the biggest team we've played all year in terms of their front line. They've got multiple 6'8 guys. So we're going to need guys to step up, but tonight will be a very big challenge for us. Prolific versus Huntington, our last game before the break. Traditionally, this is known as kind of a letdown game. Huntington Prep is a really talented team. They have a Duke commit, and they're going to play tough. Our mindsets right now should be we don't get a week off unless we win this game. They are not up for this game, trust me. They should have won last night. We feel like we should have won last night. Number one, Breakfield, 6'8", going to Duke. He's a lefty. If we can get him out of the game in foul trouble, we're in a great spot, okay? Keys to win. One. Share the ball, move the ball from side to side. I think you guys saw in film, if you make them guard for more than eight seconds, you'll get a layup. Number two, hit the glass, hit bodies, and then once we secure the rebound, we're off to the races. These guys do not want to play defense. They'll gamble, okay? You guys ready to go? Come on, let's go. Let's get back in the wind column. We're coming off a huge loss. We have to get this train back on the tracks. Slide up, Saba. Saba, slide up. It was going back and forth. Patience. Coleman's out, Namari's out, Mawat's out. It's looking kind of shaky right now. They were making great plays. We were making shots. What the hell are you doing? If we let this L sit on us, then it's going to affect this in the next game. Go for Muhammad. Silver on a servo platter. Uh. I've, I've, been kept, I've, been, I've been kept quiet. Because you got the same thing on the other end. I'm not I saying. could call it all night long. So let's just play. You can do it. No, no, I know. I understand. I'm just asking for the travel on the other side. Coach Joe is, is a winner, but you know, you got to put that winner in practice because right next to winning, you got to put a hot head. I'm going to be positive right now. Our big guys. If you don't have your hands ready and you're not ready to shoot the ball, as in literally catch the ball and lay it in, this isn't the game for you. This team is, they do not want to guard you guys. You're giving them possessions. 
We've got five assists to eight turnovers. I guarantee you, if we would have just laid it in, Muhammad, just lay it in, Saba, just lay it in, Frank, we would have nine assists to one turnover, and we'd be up by 10 points. If you're not giving him your all, he's going to call you out for it. The second half is going to be a war. If we want to go into the break 17 to 1, you continue to hit the glass, and you continue. Big finish. Jack, go. I need you to get ready to shoot. Get ready to shoot, Jack. Now this is war. Still trying to win the big one. We were down people again, but it didn't matter because we were playing together. Hit it! Here we go. And your final score tonight, the crew from Prolific Tuck from Gatlin, California, wins the third place game here. Let's go, baby, let's go! Our plans got ruined, our goal got ruined. But we decided from there on out that we're gonna end the season with just one loss. The team has a new quest now. That's what you call a gritty win. I'm proud of you guys. That was a very good win. Huntington Prep was ranked fifth, we were ranked second. Let's keep this train rolling. We decided that our new goal is to win the grind session world championship. We're not gonna let any other team beat us no matter what. Uh -uh. I'm glad this team popped us because they were tougher than us and they drove from Florida. They didn't fly, they drove in vans to come whoop our ass. And they talked after the game, their coach said all of us are soft. Side plank, get on your right elbow. This film's not gonna be pretty. I mean, I, I just charted the first half there's not a lot of good possessions, guys. Now we dropped out of all the rankings for grind session and for max preps. You can look at it however you want to look at it, but right now we've got to earn our keep now. Go. Let's go. This is called core. The next disappointment won't be fun, trust me. Give ourselves a shining star. Pass down, Coleman. Get your eyes up. Come on, guys, this is bad. All alone. Wall sits. One minute. Go. Can't make any more mistakes. All alone. On the next episode of Super Team Prolific Prep. Ah. <laughs> My wife is 39 weeks pregnant. Either you guys are not listening to me or you're telling me to f myself. Coach is in here right now. A little bit. We can't play a game without our coach. Ooh, we just got new cream hoodie. Don't just cream me, my boy. I'm trying to tell you. You better click these videos right here and subscribe. Oh, yeah. And click the link so you can cop some new gear and stop playing.